the Joe Rogan experience. Speaking of fighting, speaking of old dudes fighting, Mike Tyson and Roy Jones Jr. This weekend, what do you think yeah. of that? Ooh, interesting. Crazy, right? Yeah, I think it's. I think uh, not too crazy to me, you know, because I know they're fighters, and you know, they a fighter is as, as long as a fighter knows that people want to watch, they'll get in the ring if the money is right. Yeah. But and, Roy fought as recently as two years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but that's still. It's still ring rust. Yeah. Not as much as Tyson. Right. It's still ring rust. And so it's going to be interesting, man, because both guys are like not just champions, but they are Hall of Fame champions. Most people that I've heard talk say Roy's going to get ran through. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I think it's going to boil down to which one of them are more prepared. Yeah. That's what I think is going to happen. It's going to come down to who's more prepared. Well, they are they definitely have different sizes. You know, Roy's uh he's a legend. They're both legends, but Roy champion at 168 pounds, champion at 175, beat Ruiz at he was about 200 when he won the heavyweight title, mm-hmm. but he was never really like a big He's not, he was guy. not a natural heavyweight. Right. Tyson's a tank. Right, this is a, physically is a different person, and I don't like that they're switching it to two minute rounds. That that, that drives me crazy. Oh, but how many rounds is it? Eight, eight two minute rounds. Well, well, that just means more action. Yeah, it does. You but know? but a guy like Roy, and one of the things that Roy said is that uh, he wants to drag Tyson out. Like he's like, if Tyson's going to beat yeah. me, he's going to beat me yeah. quick. He's like, I want this fight to go. He goes, I want to get him tired. And he goes, and I have much more of a chance to get him tired if he's fighting three-minute rounds. He's like, we're grown men. And I guess the the, the WBC was pointing to uh, Julio Cesar Chavez, uh, I think, had a, 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 a boxing exhibition recently. I think it was Chavez. It was some some legend that was retired that had a boxing exhibition recently, and he was real tired. And their thought was, you know what, instead of letting them get this tired, let's make them just fight shorter rounds. Mm-hmm. But Roy's like, well, this is like what women fight. The women fight two-minute rounds. So it got, yeah. shit got sexual. <laughs> so <Huh>. sexist, <laughs> you know. But he didn't, I don't think Tyson wanted two-minute rounds either. Yeah, it would have been nice. If, yeah. What's up, there's Jamie? some rules. Have you seen the rules for the fight? Well, there's no judges and there's no celebrity no judges, decision. Celebrity judges. Yeah. What kind of celebrity? They haven't announced that yet. Oh, Jesus. And there's no winner going to be announced. Well, there's going to be a winner if uh, Mike Tyson connects on Roy's face or if Roy connects on any, Mike Tyson's any face cut ends the fight. and knocks him out. Any cut? Any it cut? It says bad, if it, bad cut, it says, but... The fuck out of here with that! Yeah. It should be a boxing match. These are legends. They both get a belt when it's over. Oh no, no, we can't have participation trophies. That's what it is. Yeah. But what no happens winner. if someone gets knocked out? There's like, no winner. What if Tyson? Listen, if <laughs> if Tyson knocks him out, he wins. If Roy knocks Tyson out, he wins. This is this is nonsense. These guys, listen. I think to get it sanctioned in California, they had to agree to some stupid shit. I guarantee you, yeah. when that. Ding! When that bell goes off, that is going to be a fucking fight. Mike Tyson is not fighting any exhibitions. Yeah. He's going to come bobbing and weaving, s- swinging death with each hand, and Roy Jones Jr. is going to be moving and throwing that nasty left hook and let the best man win, but that is going to be a fight. I, right. I cannot imagine those two legends are just going to move around. Like If you watch Roy Jones Jr. hit the pads, have you seen him hit the pads lately? He looks fucking fantastic. He's fast as shit. His hands look amazing. Mike looks amazing. I mean, both of them look like they're taking this very seriously. I can't imagine a world where someone doesn't connect and some crazy shit doesn't happen. Yeah. um, Man, this is one of those things, man. I got to see it. Yes, that's what I'm saying. I I, got to see this, man. Well, you were going to go, right? Yeah, I I was going to go, man. I was going to go, too. Then, you know, they said there won't be any... uh, Audience people members. Allow, yeah. yeah. And, and I was going to you know, go down there for the way in and everything. Want to hear something crazy? The, yeah. the distance that we are apart from each other on yeah. this table, I was going to make it closer because this new studio is a little more compact. But I had Mike in on, at the last podcast. Mike's been on twice. He was on mm-hmm. once about 11 months ago. And when he was on 11 months ago, 
he said he couldn't even work out. He goes, if I work out, my ego will get ignited, and then I'll, I'll, I just want to destroy again. I want to be the Mike Tyson of old. He said, I don't want to have nothing to do with that. That's my past. I'm done. Wow. Then he start, I think his wife called him fat, and he started working out. And he goes, and I started out with like 15 minutes on the treadmill. Well, next thing you know, I'm doing two hours. So he's doing <laughs> two hours on the treadmill. He gets in tremendous shape, and then someone says – you know, would you would you box? He's like, oh, I'm not I'm not boxing anybody. And then they go, what about for thirty million dollars? Go, what? Thirty million? And so he decides, is this today? Is that what they're yeah, each that's getting? That's his shirt. I oh, wow. He said he lost almost a hundred pounds. That's incredible. How'd yeah, you... he was probably pushing three hundred pounds at one point. Not when I saw him. Not eleven months ago, no, he wasn't. No, probably overall. <clears> no, he was. Yeah. But oh, looks- eleven months ago, he was probably about like maybe two fifty or something like that. So he definitely lost about thirty pounds. But so the distance between us is because he was so amped up. It was like a different human being. The mm-hmm. first time we were smoking weed, he's relaxed. <laughs> you know, he's got Tyson Ranch now. He's selling his own weed. By the way, strong as shit. His <laughs> weed is like his punches. They're no fucking joke. So first first podcast we did, we got barbecued. We had a great time. I'm like, holy shit, I'm getting high with Mike Tyson. Second podcast we did, he was so intense. And we were talking about like great conquerors and shit. He was talking about all these different things. And I'm like, I'm nervous in the room with him. Like he's so <laughs> amped up. Like his forearms, you could see his whole body changed. Like he's, he's, like he's got golf balls under this, this forearm muscle. He had just been training. And you could tell he's he's like Mike Tyson of all. His mindset, whether or not he's physically capable of it, his mindset is like the Mike Tyson of old. It was legitimately nervous to be in the room with him. Cause I was just like, wow, like he's he's ready. He's ready to go right now. And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna make my table a little wider. <laughs> because if I, was, if, I was, like, if I was even closer to him than this, because this is the exact distance of the old table. <laughs> But the new table, I was like, I'm going to make it about like a foot closer. But if I was a foot closer to Mike like this, I'd probably be nervous. I'd <laughs> so be more COVID nervous. Or anything. It was actual. <laughs> no, it was, it was Mike Tyson. He was so intense. I'm like, in order for me to do my best job of uh, communicating with people, if, in, in case I'm across from some, you know, like amped up killer like Mike Tyson, <laughs> you know, you just naturally, I mean, it's not like I think he's going to hurt me, but you, you get nervous. I mean, he, he, and Jamie said it best after he left. You were like, that was a totally different person. Yeah. <laughs> I was nervous. You were nervous too? <laughs> I wasn't that close. I know, man. He's amped up. Um, Episodes of the Joe Rogan Experience are now free on Spotify. That's right. They're free from September 1st to December 1st. They're going to be available everywhere. But after December 1st, they will only be available on Spotify, but they will be free. That includes the video. The video will also be there. It'll also be free. That's all we're asking. Just go download Spotify. Much love. Bye-bye.